Aslama, welcome to Tunisia. Bienvenue en Tunisie. The idea of the Aver started from uh, a young in a rural area around Midmin and uh, we decided to create this organization to defend the rights of rural children in in south and in all of Tunisia in general. And when we started after uh, Tunisian Revolution 2011, we started without anything, just we have the motivation and the will to contribute in the transition democratic in, in Tunisia and we want to change something for our community. And that's why we are based here in, in Midnin. But uh, as, as activities, we try to include uh, youngsters from different cities uh, and we are more open for, uh, for all organizations, whatever. Tunisia will fascinate you through its contrasts. A country with a millennial rich heritage that in the same time confronts poverty in many regions. Bonjour. Euh, Lamia Sada, je viens de Medellin, la Tunisie. Euh, J'habite à Medellin, c'est le sud de la Tunisie, donc euh, je trouve que c'est si totalement différent du côté du nord. Donc le jeune cherche toujours à de métiers commerciaux, euh, tout, tout ce qui fait de, de commerce en fait, de, de secteurs privés plus que étatiques. Après l'école ou après l'école en général, les enfants ou même le jeune, ils font des activités culturelles. Donc, euh, déjà, la loi en Tunisie, il oblige de faire des activités culturelles l'après-midi, le vendredi, le week-end, en fait, les vendredis, samedi, l'après-midi, des activités culturelles. Il y a aussi dans le centre de jeunesse, comme les maisons de jeunes, comme les complexes culturels, il y a des activités culturelles, comme la danse, la musique, la, le théâtre. A country with a strong faith and tolerance towards people coming from other religions and cultures, that is also the place where United Nations counts over 5,500 young people that have been radicalized towards ISIS. Tunisia is a cultural tourism jewelry with Berber architecture, unique monuments from the early centuries of Islam, and well-preserved ruins from the times of the Carthage and the Roman Empire, but in the same time is a victim of media propaganda for several years after the revolution that spreads fear among European tourists. This was in كانوا يخزنوا فيه القمح والشعير ويجيبوا الجمال وعليها حامل القمح والشعير ويجوا لهنا للقصر هذايا يعملوا فيه مثلا سوق يبيعوا فيه القمح والشعير والواحد و... ومن بعد اليفضل يخزنوه هنا في الغرف هذايا يخزنوه في الحال بتاعتهم وكانوا في قديم الزمان هذا على ثاني ثلاث ربع ثلاث there you go. It looks like a Star Wars, and that's not a coincidence. It's because actually Star Wars have been filmed over here, and a lot of cats around. So. Hello Ali. Hello. Take the mic so that people can hear you also. Okay, hello everyone. I spoke a lot uh, with uh, men over there in yeah. Arabic, yeah. Tunisian dialect. Yeah. What did you find out? He said that uh, this place is uh, more than uh, seven years, uh, 700 years old. Uh, and it's a barbarian uh, place. Construction. Construction, yeah. Uh, he said that one room is called Gorfa, yeah, and the plural is called Ksur. It's like a mini souk. They come with the camels from uh, the Sahara and from the sea uh, to buy their uh, product and exchange uh, product. And here we can also see the biggest uh, mosque. Uh, Young people from Romania and Tunisia are different and similar in the same time. 
So, if you believe that in the south of Tunisia there is not so much opportunities for young people, when you arrive to the capital, the things are changing a little bit. There are several places uh, that are supporting the networking and uh, offering space to uh, freelancers and for startups. Uh, I had the chance to visit a startup house in Tunis and uh, they have nice facilities here. I will show you a little bit around. Uh, there are nice uh, facilities here. I will try not to disturb the people. Just take a look around. And um, uh, so they can host people here to uh, work. Uh, there are individual offices, there are common spaces. Uh, also, uh, you can come here as a resident or you can um, choose for a different, uh, choose another package that is offering you the possibility to come here and work with your team. Also, they put uh, the freelancers and entrepreneurs in connection with mentors and uh, they provide them with training, with presentations, with inspiration. And also, uh, it's a great uh, opportunity to meet other entrepreneurs and network and try to uh, establish cooperation and help each other as much as possible. So, entrepreneurial environment is not so bad in Tunisia, after all. I really encourage young people to start their business. Um, even in the South? Yes, even in the South, yeah. Oh. There is a lot of interesting things that we can do, especially in my cities. Many of them lost their faith in the system and perhaps in their own capacities. So. We are here with Surin. Hello. Where are you from, Surin? I'm from Tunis. Tunisia. So finally, I found uh, someone from Tunis because everyone is from the south here. <laughs> so finally, I had the chance to meet someone from Tunis. Uh, Surin is working on a um, mentoring program yes. to support uh, young entrepreneurs, right? Yes. Okay. Why uh, do you do this program? What is the need behind it? So uh, entrepreneurship in Tunisia is very important nowadays uh, since people are starting to take more initiative and uh, we will have to uh, promote this kind of prog programs to uh, encourage people to uh, take this initiative. So it will have the mentors, they will need the experts to ask them questions and overall it will help ha them um, develop a more efficient uh, program and a uh, more efficient uh, mindset and vision for the startups. This is why the empowerment programs run by Aver in Tunisia and Jake in Romania aim to tackle youth unemployment in innovative ways through social entrepreneurship, freelancing and creative expression. For me, as an ambassador of Romania to Tunisia, it's actually a great honor to be in a country where the youth is so powerful, it's full of hopes, full of dreams. It's a youth that actually made a revolution in 2011. This year, in 2017, we're uh, celebrating six years from the Jasmine Revolution, which was the revolution that started the Arab Spring. Uh, what is important for you to know and to understand is that Tunisian youth is, is a very special youth which is, cannot be compared with other youth uh, maybe from, uh, from other Arab and African countries. It is an educated youth, it is a youth that uh, wanted to change a system and it is a youth which is very much involved in the public space and civil society. And uh, we, as uh, the Embassy of Romania to Tunisia, and as a European Union member country, we're trying to support all these uh, youth initiatives, trying to, to foster cooperation between Romanian youth organization, uh, organizations and the Tunisian youth organizations and NGOs, of course. The special link between Romania and Tunisia is that about 1,700 Tunisian uh, young people are studying in Romania, which is the biggest number of foreign students in Romania after the, um, the students fr uh, from the Republic of Moldova. So uh, we have uh, a great number of students uh, from Tunisia studying in the big university centers in uh, Bucharest, in Timisoara, in Cluj, in Yash, and uh, Brasov, for example. 
uh, I believe that this is a great link and uh, they are the real uh, ambassadors of Tunisia to Romania on the other hand. Um, they are mostly studying uh, medicine, pharmacy, engineering, architecture and we are happy that in Romania we have the educational system to provide them with, uh, with a solid academic background. So we are trying to create links, we are trying to show uh, Romania and we are trying to build bridges across the Mediterranean to bring Romanian youth and Tunisian youth closer together. Thank you very much. Thank you. Nevertheless, Tunisia has its charming way to tell you see you soon. Living one month in this beautiful country and understanding more about its culture and challenges is a strong motivation to continue the work and take it to the next level in the upcoming years. I check Tunisia. Thank you, Tunisia.